Logic Zero, example 26.3, a proof in two steps. Okay, so we've done a proof and we've done a couple of proofs in one step. This gives us a better idea of what proofs are really all about. Proofs usually occur in multiple steps. So just like before, we're gonna set our conclusion aside. Now I'm telling I'm telling you that I can do that you can do this in two steps. So we can just go ahead and and put our conclusion here. So we're going to do one step for line four, and then the second step is going to be line five. And lo and behold, we can use the same rules that we used in the previous two examples. So for line four, we can get not B. And we're going to use lines one and two to justify that, lines one and two, using modus ponens. So P is A and Q is not B. We affirm the antecedent and we can conclude the consequent of the first premise using modus ponens. Okay. And then uh, for line five, we can conclude C from lines three and four using disjunctive syllogism. So disjunctive syllogism. So those are just the same two rules that we used in the previous two examples. So let me show those to you. So we had uh, modus ponens. And disjunctive syllogism. So this pattern of P only of Q, P therefore Q matches up with lines one, two, and four. And then disjunctive syllogism, P or Q, not P therefore Q, matches up with lines uh, three and four with the conclusion in line five. So we have B or C, not B therefore C. And it follows the pattern or template of disjunctive syllogism. Now, all of those rules that we saw uh, can be used. These are all legitimate moves. If we're thinking of this as like some kind of game, you can use these moves. You just got to make sure that each move that you take, each new line that you produce is justified in terms of one of these rules. And of course, we'd finish off the proof with our closing tag and then eliminate the line breaks and submit our answer as an answer string.